Hello, potato, and welcome to day number eight of the Funko Pocket Pop 13-Day Spooky Countdown. We're on the downhill slope towards Halloween, now just another five days to go, which means, including today, another six doors to open. So let's open the gate and see who hides in drawer number eight. You know what really cool? Instead of doing mausoleum drawers, they should do like a morgue thing. Maybe that'll be a future year like morgue drawers to open but have them open like i think downward would be cool i'd upward probably more convenient but downward i think would just would look cooler might actually be easier to do too pulling down instead of pulling up but uh you know we'll see so they do today for number eight we have another wonderful little toddler of a person regan okay not not a toddler she's like adolescent but we do have regan from the exorcist surprisingly Surprisingly, not from like the new Exorcist Believer, but uh, from the classic original Exorcist. She's got her little her little pea soup vomit on her shirt there. She's all cut up in the face. Good good copying of the skin pallor, I think. And did I, I haven't seen the movie in a while. Did she have like little handkerchief things hanging off the back of her sleeves like this? I don't recall. But I think it's a pretty good likeness. Uh, definitely one of our upper tier figures. Of course, as tends to be the case with these little pocket pops, she does not stand super well. But she's uh, she's doing okay now. She's certainly doing better than Pennywise or our horribly misassembled Beetlejuice there. So that's a plus. We'll see how she does over the next few days, though, if she continues to stand or if she uh, has to lean against things like Pennywise there does or the Lost Boy or Beetlejuice. But that does finish us up for another day, so let's close the gate and we'll come on back in about 24 hours and see who hides behind door number nine. See you then.